Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Today, how to video time, we are going to be installing a two and a half inch hard drive into this Dell Inspiron 15 7000 series gaming laptop computer. I've previously reviewed this computer and a link to that review will be in the video description below. Go check it out because this thing is awesome. For $800, you get an incredible amount of computer for the money. I highly recommend it. It's a great, great machine. Now, in order to get access to this machine, you simply need to turn it over. One of the reasons why I love this computer is the fact that it provides easy access to everything inside. It takes a single screwdriver and a single screw to open the entire bottom panel. Most laptops don't work like this. Do not mess with these screws because they're to the, uh, to the screen hinge, so you don't want to mess with those. This is the only screw that you have to undo. Now, note. If you try to use a standard household Phillips head screwdriver, a number two they're called for that would you be used for doorknobs and stuff like that, it's too large, it will strip this. You do need a smaller screwdriver. When it starts making that clicking noise, it's fully unscrewed. The rest of it comes out with just your fingernails. You simply pry it up and it snaps off just like that. The actual back cover is held on by these clasps around the edges which just snap in and out of the holes around the edges. It really is that simple. It is an excellent design. I love it. Inside, really briefly, let me cover the items that you can see here. This is our user replaceable 74 watt hour battery. Many, many laptops these days do not come with user replaceable batteries. Uh, I recently reviewed an Asus laptop for 530. Great machine in its own right. One person uh, asked me about the battery. I did check. Nope, it is not user replaceable. What you have is what you have. So you can change this out, which is really nice. Here we have our two cooling fans. This is a gaming laptop, so these spins really nicely and keep both the processor and the dedicated gaming graphics card cool. The uh, hot air exhausts out the back here and keeping uh, you relatively cool while you're playing. Right in the center, we have a RAM. Now, I've already installed additional RAM. I filmed that, and that will be in the video description below. If you want to see how to do that, go check it out. This is our 256-gigabyte solid-state uh, drive. It is um, an M2 drive instead of the M2 slot. It is certainly upgradable. Now, 256 gigabytes is big enough for a handful of games, Windows, and Windows applications. But it does have its limits, but it is wicked, wicked fast, which makes this thing really quick. But if you want to install more space, that's what we have this for. This is a Samsung 2 terabyte hard drive, and these are now less than $100. If you want to add 2 terabytes of storage to your computer, here you go. Um, I paid about $95 for this on Amazon, and a link to that will be in the description below. You can, of course, install a one terabyte drive, which are about $60, but you're essentially paying less than $50 more to double the space. If you're going to add a drive, personally, I think you should put either, either a two terabyte drive in, or you could install a standard two and a half inch solid state drive. A 500 gigabyte solid state drive is around $110 these days. Um, so it's certainly an option. Now, before we can do anything with this drive, we have to take out the drive tray. This does come with the machine, by the way. This is the drive tray, which has to be removed. Same screwdriver we use to take the back cover off. There are four screws, one here, one here, here, and here. And we have to undo these screws in order to take this out. These are very small. Try not to lose them inside the machine. If you look, that is very, very small. So we will just undo our screws and very carefully take these out. It does help having a magnetic screwdriver. This screwdriver I'm using came in a, a Vision Tech kit that I use. It comes with about eight different screwdrivers, needle nose pliers, um, tweezers, and a handful of other computer tools. It's about $25 on Amazon delivered. Um, but these are really handy because the top holds, and so I can put my hand down and I can spin it with my fingers. Really, really nice. You can buy these for a couple dollars at a hardware store, but I, I like the nice kit because it folds out and has everything in it. This just comes out just like that. That's all there is to it. It's just a piece of metal. What's it there for? To hold the hard drive in place. If you look at your standard two and a half inch hard drive, you will see that there are two holes on each of the long sides. 
And then this is where your data cable goes. This computer does come with the data cable included. It's right here. And the short one is data, and the long connector is power. It only fits one way. It'll work fine. Here's the thing, though. You can't just put the drive in. It doesn't connect to anything. It'll wobble around, which you don't want hard drives to do. What you have to do is to mount it in the tray. And if you look, there are two screws on that side and two screws on this side. Now, the computer does not come with drive screws, and most hard drives and most solid state drives don't come with drive screws either. Now, I have four drive screws right here. Why? Because I have lots of drive screws. If you don't have drive screws, I will put a link in the video description below to a um, listing on Amazon. It's from a third party seller, but they're about $4 for a whole bag of drive screws. It'll last you probably the rest of your life. But it's a whole collection. I'm, there's probably 20 or 30 drive screws in there. I looked for a less expensive option, but of course, because they have to ship it to you, it's not going to get much cheaper than that. So if you don't have any drive screws, you will need them because neither the bare drives nor the computer comes with the screws to put it into the tray. You do want to make sure that you've got label side up with, because what's going to happen is the connector here is going to fit in just like that and then lay down. So you don't want to put it in upside down and you don't want to install it with the connectors that way. So it basically, it just goes that way. And I'm just going to hold it with my fingers like this. And I'm going to take my drive screw and my screwdriver. Now, you should not do this over the computer like I'm doing. I'm trying to film it. Just do this on the table. There we go. Then we take one more. As I said, don't do this over the computer. I'm just trying to get it so you can see what I'm doing. Now, my particular drive screws stick out from the side. I don't know if you can see that or not ever so slightly. It fits just fine. While I'm doing this, I'll simply make the comment that if you did watch my original review of this computer, you'll know that this is not a review machine. This is actually my personal gaming machine that I have owned longer than I've had a YouTube channel. I love this machine. Seriously, if you have not checked this out for $800, it is a screaming machine. I've owned this since 2015. I bought it just after it came out in November. Powerful, easy to access, easy to upgrade. Well, as easy as it gets anyway. And just like that, we're now screwed in. At this point, you do want to connect your data and power connector before you try to put it in. It's much easier. It just lines up like that and goes click. That's all there is to it. At that point, it just drops right down into place. We simply take our four screws here, and we screw those down. Now, these come with the machine. This is what was holding the drive tray in place when we opened it up. And in case those of you are curious who've watched my reviews and you're going, wait a minute, you're upgrading it now. Wasn't it already upgraded? Yeah, I pulled it out so I could put it back in for the video. Uh, this hard drive has been in there for six months. But uh, several people asked me to film a video showing how to install it. So here we are. Yes, there's nothing like taking it back apart just to put it back together and put it on film, huh? It's OK. That's it. We're done. I mean, it really is that simple. Um, let me just summarize. So when you open it up, there's no drive here. There's four screws right here that you simply unscrew to take the metal out. You will need four drive screws. Either they came with your hard drive, you have a hard drive, or you will need to buy them for $4 or so on my link on Amazon or anywhere else. I mean, if you can get drive screws locally, that's fine too. But basically, you simply then screw the four screws into the side of the drive. You then simply plug in the data and power cable, lay it down in place, put those four screws back in place, at which point, Put this side with the red rubber in first. Running your finger along the edge to snap all the snaps into place. And then the last thing is to make sure that the one screw is screwed all the way down. Now sometimes not everyone gets snapped, so once you screw the screw down, just run your finger 
along the outside. Yep, and it's all snapped in place. We are done. Now, at this point, if you bought yourself a brand new drive, when you turn this computer on, Windows sees it, but there's no drive lever because generally um, bare internal drives do not come formatted. You will need to go into computer management and you will need to partition the drive. Basically, when you get into Windows, uh, press your start key, type in computer management and press enter. You're going to want to go to disk manager on the left hand side and you will actually see the disk listed below the solid state drive. The SSD is 256 gigabytes, whatever you installed here, in this case two terabytes. You'd right click on it and uh, create a new volume and at that point you would simply assign it a drive, lever, a drive letter. It will offer to format it, say yes, and boom, your drive is ready to go. It really is that simple. Did you like this video? Click like. Did you not? That's okay too. Remember to subscribe to my channel. It's the big red button right down there below the video. Lots more how-to guides, unboxings, overviews, performance videos uh, coming up and you will get notifications of those if you subscribe to my channel. It's free so go ahead and click now. Questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions, that's what the section below the video is for. Tell me what you think. Did you like this? Do you want to see something different? Did you, was it too long, too short? Um, give me your feedback and uh, I certainly appreciate it. As a final note, uh, my primary funding source for all these videos are the links in the video description below. A link to this laptop, a link to uh, that hard drive, a link to the drive screws will all be in the video description below. Those take you to Amazon. Those are affiliate links. Um, they do pay me a small commission. It doesn't change your cost in any way, but it is my primary funding source. So if you want to see more videos like this, if you like my channel and want to support me, please check out those links. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.